Hello and welcome! My name is Christoph Pütz and I'm your IT career guide. In today's video I want to talk about five reasons why you should become a system administrator. A system administrator is usually an area in information technology that offers a lot of variety. There's a quite a few ways how you can map out your career and take that system administrator job as a foundation to move into those other areas of information technology. But before I go and talk about these five reasons, if you don't mind hitting that subscribe button and smash that like button as if it would be the Windows key on your keyboard, I would really appreciate it. So let's get going. So one of the top reasons why people want to become a systems administrator is really the money. The high salaries that are possible. And money has lured so many people into information technology. And it's, it's a good reason. We have to pay our bills. We want to save money for retirement. We want to have a good life. So a high salary and the uh, option to really grow in that area and grow a salary um, really to like a healthy six-figure level, that of course catches the interest of many people. But one thing to keep in mind, it's not just about the salary. If you don't deliver, the salary will not get to you. So meaning you will not be able to earn that salary because you will be weeded out on your way to a six-figure salary. So don't just let the money lure you into information technology and try to become a system administrator. So yes, the money is part of the journey, but there is much more why you should become a system administrator and then the money will follow. So another reason why you should become a system administrator is really the low barrier of entry. You can go into IT without having a college degree. You can go there as a self-taught individual and work your way up through the ranks. That's by the way how I did it. I picked up a book, I became Microsoft certified and the rest is history as they say. So low barrier of entry. It doesn't cost you a fortune. You do not have to go to college for four years. So there are really easier ways to get into information technology and the system administrator role is one of those low hanging jobs where you can get into then work for a while, build up experience and skills, and then, you're, then you really take your career to that next level. So low barrier of entry, it's definitely a plus to get into information technology and become a system administrator. The other thing that interested me specifically to get into information technology and to become a system administrator is the versatility of that entire profession. Because it's not industry specific. Almost every industry needs a system administrator of some sort, system engineers, network engineers. Any company today really works with information technology and guess what? In that moment they need support personnel and the system administrator can go between industries. Of course there are some industry specific areas like let's say the um, SOX compliance um, for companies that are publicly traded or in the pharmaceutical company. So there are quite a few areas where extra knowledge is required. But you can go and work for like a company in the print industry, move to another company in the construction industry. And from there you move into a company that works in information technology. So there are many areas where you can easily take your skill set lift it and shift it into a different industry. So, so the next item I want to talk about why becoming a system administrator can be such a rewarding idea. And it's really about the growth and the opportunities that opening up. So the system administrator role itself is really just the lower hanging fruit that you want to aim for. So that's really your entry into that area of information technology. From there, once you have a little experience built up, I mean, the sky is the limit. You can go into network engineering, you can become a cloud engineer, you can become a systems architect. There are so many areas. Oh, you move into information security. I mean, there are really endless opportunities and you can grow in these areas. So that's really the part that takes you and offers and opens this door for you so that you can really have a long-term career with a lot of learning and education and new technology that you're working on. So that growth opportunity really that helps you with mapping out a career. I mean you're not going there for two or three years and then you retire. It's usually you're looking at 10, 20, 30 years or more for a career. And well, not every area that uh, jobs are available offers that, but information technology, specifically the role as a systems administrator, man, there's so much opportunity. So definitely worth going in and definitely a reason to become a system administrator. So, and I just mentioned it already a little bit, the variety of work that is there. 
there are so many options that you can go into. I mentioned information security, systems architect, you can become a cloud engineer, so those areas. But then you look into the sub areas. So let's say you become a penetration tester in information security, or you become a network engineer specialized in cloud data center or virtual data centers. So another reason why you want to become a system administrator is really the variety of work that is possible. And I'm not talking about the areas like information security or network engineering or cloud, whatever. I mean, of course, those play a role as well. But within the job role itself, the variety, the creativity that you can put out to deliver solutions, design solutions, the way how you troubleshoot and how you go through those challenges. That's really what, what is adding really, I want to say, the spice to the um, job that you have. It's not just monotonous work filling out spreadsheets or anything. There's so much more really to it where you know that no day is the same as the day before. So there's always something different. If something breaks, the problem might be so different that you have to find a new way of troubleshooting. So really that variety of how you work and really what's happening around you, that makes it really a very interesting job that keeps you engaged. And that's really in the end, the important part. You wanna be engaged with the work that you do. So that really, that keeps the motivation high and in the end, with motivation high, you can deliver better results. And guess what? Better results mean more salary and a more interesting job. So definitely an option to look at. And that brings me to the last point. So the work in information technology, specifically the role as a system administrator, is intellectually challenging. There's a lot of complexity involved. It's not just really, I want to say, dumb work or so. It's like, no, you need to think about impact of the work that you're doing. So let's say you are rolling out a new system and, well, you can just roll it out, but what? how do you train your users? How do you make the system available? How do you make the system secure? How do you make it scalable? So really the um, challenges that you have where you have to put your mind to work. Same thing with learning new technologies all the time. Information technology really the time when new technologies are coming out is becoming shorter and shorter. So it's a constant learning. If you thrive in these type of environments, this is really the job to have because that really keeps you engaged, that keeps you challenged. You have a lot of fun working with technology. Well, this is the area to be in because that's where you can use that new technology, roll out solutions that nobody else has done before. So you can even go at the forefront of technology, work with bleeding edge technology and maybe really change the world around you. So what is your why? Why do you want to become a system administrator? Is it really just the money or are there other reasons? So for me, it was like, yes, the money was of interest, but the money really just got me introduced to, oh, there are these different type of roles available. Oh, and so on. So for me, it was really just like, yes, the money caught my interest, but I didn't stay just for the money. I stayed for the type of work. I stayed for the growth opportunities. I stayed because I liked learning new technologies and then really challenged myself to build better solutions to build and deliver better results for my employers. So that's what got me interested in becoming a system administrator. And for the majority of my career, I was a system administrator and system engineer before I moved into IT management. So I hope you can find your why and why you wanna become a system administrator. So let me know in the comments what you think about it and what your why is, please. So if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. If you have not subscribed to my channel, please do so as well. And then I hope to see you in my next video. Thank you for watching and have a great day. Bye-bye.